Uh, Sarah. Uh, I know, but he's going to be not sure. Huh? around the house, I think. The outside part. Oh, it's going to be my show. At least going to have some tricks that I Today's vlog, we, we all walk around in circles trying to find each other. I can just have people like let me know when they're here. Miracle. You know? Or you tell them when they're supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, wait, that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> As you might notice, we have a lot of 3D printers. What do you get for the person that has all the 3D printers? One more bigger 3D printer. So these are a lot like the resin printers we have before. Those there are the Elegoo hey. Mars. It's not going up on there. What? It's not going up on there. Where do you want to put it? Over there. Over there. We'll get all the printers here. Why? Well, it's not with this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like un right. unboxing one and putting it where it's not supposed to be. Right. Right. We'll put it over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all the same, same, man. Same. Yeah, let's put it on the compost pile. That's, <laughs> that's where we do it. Elegoo Mars 2. We have the Elegoo Mars 2 Mono. Probably Elegoo Mars. Replaced with the Elegoo Saturn, which is basically, you know, I don't know if you know this about Saturn, but it's bigger than Mars. So that's the plan here. Give me a hug, Mr. Printer. Alright. These guys are all pretty much the best printers that you can get. Um, the reason we like them is because super high resolution and We've just had really, really good luck with the Elegoo printers. Um, and they ship ready to go. That's what this foam just holds it in place. And this is the difference here. Here, let me show you this. Okay. Here, can someone grab me the other tray? Here, I'll just... So the Mars printers, they print, this is like a, a bed of fire pits that we've printed, right? And it's about the size of a six inch phone screen. This is for the Saturn. So we're immediately jumping into a bigger yield of print. And so we're gonna be able to start printing boots directly in this printer. It's gonna be amazing. Most of your rollerblade boot is like uh, three parts, right? Like there's the, there's the two side pieces. So you probably could actually print every, like the sole vertically. Like, well, it's all one piece from front to back though. So. Hmm. Yeah, well, we're probably still better off using the Fusion then. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, for the bigger stuff? Yeah. Unless we can, can you like weld the pieces together? Yeah, that's what I was Wait, what do you mean? It's two plates? Is that what you're saying? No, roll plates. Yeah, like, so like the, two the, sides. The, oh, it's not big enough. The boot part itself is. Yeah. Oh, it's like, so you get that so if you're like modeling, if you're like, like you know. Why do we have this? What structure is it? Right. That's one of those flaws in the system. There's one over there. Uh, you can use that wall one right there. My, I'm gonna need an extension cord to reach this okay. side. Okay. This is pretty great. Oh man, look at the back of this guy. Check this out. This printer has networked ethernet. You can literally print right off of the network. That's a nice little feature. And then, I'm gonna leave the plastic wrap on this for now. See the reason to take it off. So, you don't want to remove the polarizer from the bed. Then, we need to level it. I'll use this to level the arm here once we're all plugged in. I'm gonna need um, the Allen wrench set also. It's in there. Uh, I don't think they came with the Allen wrench. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah, there it is. Great. So then we got the Allen wrench set. So it's is it plugged in the electric scene now? No. No home button. Cool. Where'd the uh you have that thing, right? This? Yeah. Yeah. Just check out the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. No, they, That's they a big uh, difference, came I guess. with one yeah. set. It's not actually as big as I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be bigger. But it's big enough that it's yeah. still really significantly more because you can do three of these, you know, if you turn this sideways, perpendicular, it's just about three of those. Yeah. So. Here we're gonna home the printer. So I got this set to 10 nanometers. I'm gonna push this up a few bits. Then I'm gonna plug this guy in right here and twist him on. 
Okay, now you can see it's at like a weird angle and it's not perfect. So what we'll do is I will remove this guy and I'll hold it over here for a second. And then here, I'm gonna put this. This is not the biggest one, maybe it's a bigger one. This will work as a, as a measuring device. So then I'll press home. Cool. And this will bring it down to the point where this thing will push flat against the screen. And it, so once it pushes down, see it, it finds itself and it's gonna push into the tray. I wanna be able to move this thing, I can't move it yet. So I'm gonna move it by one nanometer, or millimeter I mean, up, then down. This is probably just about perfect. Maybe I'll do a tenth less. That's good there. Maybe one more. Hmm. Yeah, so it just slides just slightly. You don't want it to slide too much because you want to have about 100 microns or less in between. It's too much now. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to tighten that. And the best way is to find your spot and then one turn. This guy is level. I'm going to push this guy up about 100 millimeters. I'll put down the tray underneath and we'll fill it with resin. Do we have the lubricant somewhere? Do you know where that is? The way we get down here, we need super lube on just about everything. That's the way it is. Oh, it's gonna use a decent amount, actually. And then we'll use the new tool to kind of... gently make sure that it's on the surface. Sometimes it sticks. <laughs> sometimes it works. Yeah, sometimes it works without this stuff, but sometimes it doesn't. And so this way... Well, it always works. Wait, what? Sometimes, well, so what'll happen is if if you don't use this lube, sometimes it'll stick to the screen. Yeah. Right? And we want it to stick to the top, not the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't seem to really... I don't know. Do you think blue or do you want to use a different color? Uh, what color's out there? Well, do we have that gray? Oh, gray? Yeah, we have yeah. gray red. Gray. That's, well, wait, 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 we don't want to waste that though. Waste? It's the printable stuff, so like, when we, do you know what you're printing? We don't have a, a file yet. I'm going to put this in and we're going to go get a file ready. Can we get the one the file from them? They're different size machine. It won't slice right. the same. So we have to re-slice everything. So every file is different for every printer. So you go to the same place to get all of your models, but once you have a model, yeah, yeah, yeah. each printer needs to be sliced differently. Yeah. So. Even the same company's printers. So let's let's slice up something nice here. All right. Uh, I'll pour from this angle. This is the pouring spout. There's a max line here, but I'm not gonna even reach it. You're gonna pour the bottle? Nope. I'm just gonna hit less than yeah. the max line. About half the bottle. Because like we want the bubbles. It's like twenty bucks worth of goo or what? Mm, this bottle is probably about thirty bucks. Yeah, so, you're right. Yeah. So probably right. like 15, ten or fifteen bucks worth of goo. So and but we're not going to use all of this goo right this second. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think. No. Where's that other tray we have? They still have some in there. So like this is less than like forty cents worth of goo. This could be something like twelve cents worth of goo. Like with the amount of resin we're using, isn't a lot. And we can hollow the models. So it's only in specific circumstances where we're using lots of goo. Um, also, because this printer prints upside down, the support structures are less. So we're using less support structures. There's a lot of um, room we're making, we're, we're saving material. This is the only support structure for that thing. It's a very thin support structure and the insides are hollow so that you can literally snap the thing off. I mean, these are designed to hold the thing together literally just enough that resin keeps it printing. Yeah. So, and then it falls apart. Yeah. This stuff isn't actually as expensive as you think it would be. Um, there are really expensive things we're looking at, like porcelain. Porcelain's more expensive. 
It's like $200 for three liters of porcelain, but you can make ceramic shells, so, for eggs. All right, let's go get some files. So we just got the file, and we'll show you later how I sliced that. Wait, what? It came with the file. Oh, but I mean, don't print some stupid shit. Well, let's see what, I mean, we don't know what it is yet. It's not going to be awesome, I guarantee it. You guarantee it? You sound like the opposite of that guy with the, the, the gentleman's suits. I guarantee it. Yeah, you're like, it's you're not going to like it. I guarantee You're not going to like it, I guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the rooks again. Yeah, well, we need. We should print the rooks as a no. test, though. Uh, we should print something cool as a test. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, it's whatever. Go ahead. I think the rooks are so small, it's a good... But I mean, wait, wait, if you're going to... I mean, The rooks are not going to take less than six... Uh, the rooks are about six... Um, six cents worth of resin. How long does it take, though? About 90 minutes. Are you hot? On this printer, less, maybe. Uh -huh. ah, come on, there it is. There you go. Let's just do the rooks. They'll be done in a little uh, while. That way we know everything works right. Like this, I do want to fucking You do want to get this off? I was thinking that the dust cover, almost. This isn't the same. This is like disgusting. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like furniture in an, a neurotic person's house. Alright. Actually, here. Let's just... Oh, I might get dust on Yeah, but... Very quickly, we can just get this off. It's just ran around. There we go. Alright. Didn't get it off. Just in the nick of time. Okay. Okay. Let's check this box to make sure there's anything else in it before we it's, it's, uh, you can have it. Now the printer's ready to go. The bubbles have lifted to the surface. The Saturn is printing chess pieces. We're going to be able, in the old printer, we were able to print a few chess pieces at a time. Now we can print an entire chess set in one sitting. So the next step is to start slicing some more files specifically for the Saturn. <laughs> Bad memories. Calm down. No, I mean, see these little arms here? That's the, those are supposed to eventually be pried away, so it's okay. It. And then, Ow! Are you okay? <laughs> Thank gosh you're wearing glasses. No, got it. It's like right above right. my eye. Gotta be careful. All right, don't we have paper towels? Where'd they go? You really we wanna wear gloves with this? Yeah, I've been not gloves. wearing gloves, and it tastes like, we're food starts to taste like this stuff no, for days, you're not man. supposed to do, you're supposed to wear gloves. Like, I where know, are the gloves? you gotta be real careful. Where are the gloves? Uh, and now here I am. He's trying to back in. Damn it! <laughs> not gonna fit. There's no way. Put the bigger pieces and then put the small one on top of it. Maybe we should get a smaller mesh for the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna have to eventually. Or we can just print bigger stuff. We could just do that. That's just heresy. This guy talking about. Isn't it just gonna fall out? You know, eventually. This but then I'll be able to. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Those aren't. Those are just. And also, I can. Put them in after. Those That's are, how I do it. Which ones? These guys? Yeah. No, these guys are just the stands that we broke off. We don't need them anymore. Ew. Is it unplugged now? I do it for two to five minutes. It doesn't really need to be... Is that water? It's alcohol. Yeah. It's uh, isopropyl. Oh, We'll see you in three hours. I haven't skated in a month because last time I cracked my jaw and so I'm waiting for it to heal. It's doing good. Just smashed my face on the ground, cracked my jaw. So it's been over a month. Maybe tomorrow's the day. Yeah. And I'm wearing a full face. Yeah, it says for Tim Pool. What is this? Belts. Ooh, look at this. Fancy belt. Look at this. It's a fancy belt. I ordered a fancy one. Yeah. Oh, it ratchets. Look at that. And you lift it up to unratchet it. It's a ratchet belt. How cool is that? And this is just a regular belt. I know what this is. I gotta be careful with unboxing this.
Oh, this is not what I thought it was. I'm I am greatly upset. What is it? What is it's it? resin. Oh. Just resin. Okay. Like gray resin? Just resin. Like bowl resin? It's gray. <laughs> I thought it was new electronics. Oh, so this is for the 3D printer. Awesome. What the hell? Oh, is this part of the drum nice. set? I think so. What is that? I didn't get the whole like, symbols or something. Yeah, if this is, it does need to come down here, but we'll worry about it later. Okay. This came fast. Wait, is all the chicken cock gone already? What does that mean? No, um, there's more in the cabinet. No, 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 but there was a glass bottle of chicken cock. No, it came down already. Well, I see an empty bottle of chicken cock. Really? I don't see a full bottle of chicken cock. Yeah. Is that from last time, though? It could be. I'm not sure. Cool. And we have a oh, time whatever. Time. So these are the shy skates. Um, we've never shaved. We have shy skates before. She has the Moxie, I have the Jackson, which is um, mine are made for derby, like they're designed for derby. Um, hers are designed for recreational. Okay, well, off the bat, I like the toe stop. Ooh, yeah. It's not like the freaking Impala, like rubber ones that are hard to. Uh... Yeah, they're like plasticky almost. They don't have the grind blocks at all. Uh, not? No, they do not. What? Oh, I guess they're you like. The they're on the you website, can't. it showed them with grand blocks. So yeah, it shows them right there, too. Yeah. And they don't have them. Yeah, I can't get this open. Maybe you can read it. Fucking strong. Yeah. You have one hit of I don't even know how you well, got that. Well, see, because, like, you see how. I wonder how oh, it's got, like, a key. Slice it with this. I wonder. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm doing the roll test to see if the trucks are. They both kind of go inwards. I mean, I can kind of tell by. Oh, these are awesome. The and they don't have blocks either. Oh, mine have blocks. Well, you have you have blocks, don't you? I promise you. Uh, I do have blocks. So, yeah. So, so I could take these ones off and then you have to take these ones off. Yeah. Whichever one you want. Yeah. 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 Y
No, it's it's the the, the, the uh, mounting bracket isn't long enough. Hmm. They need to create a universal roller skate system like Rollerblades did. That would be honestly super nice. Look at it. But you said those are for roller rings. These are for tricks. Oh, so you th these aren't actually good for the skate. I mean, you can still do like you can still use them in here. I, those are just you know these are just better. She would just prefer these. Is that you? Those are better. <laughs> they're they're technically better, but it doesn't like I can still skate in these and do like learn tricks and stuff. Yeah, but that's like tricks and stuff. Wow. That's like using uh, like, like what are those roller blades they sell at Walmart? You know. But you can grind on these, right? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I'm I can still sure grind I can. them, but. Are these better than the ones you already have, or are the other ones better? Honestly, I don't know much about these, like this brand, because mine are also not really meant for the skate park either. Um, I've kind of like I put the right wheels and stuff on it, so I can, but they're also not the best for what I like to do. Now getting this in is the hard part. It's got the mounting bracket for a grind block. I'm not sure how they would fit on either of these. Oh yeah, wow, those are even shorter. Yeah. Well, look at it. Yeah, because your skates are a lot even closer together than here. Are sure they? They are, right? Mm -hmm. So those go... There are four of them. Yep. Really the only thing I'm worried is, is like... So you do bearing? Skating with the key sticking out. You know what I mean? Spacer. Like, is there a way is to remove the... not supposed to happen? Wait, can I see this one? But we're not. Uh, we're, we're gonna need. Yeah, like a you wouldn't be able yeah. to stall at all yeah. with this sticking out, or and else you need a second box. Either mess up the coping oh. or mess up the skate. Oh, so those can't go on that. No. Yeah. We can. Not we, can uh, we can make something out of metal. And, wow. uh, so we can't. Oh wow. Yes, yeah, so, and see, like my only concern about one of us skating without the things, the grind blocks, this is can't possibly this key that much. won't. This key won't do well on either but the skate. Do you want these? Well, the, the red ones don't fit you, they're too big. Yeah, and either no, way, look, one of us is going to have the keys like, sticking I know, out. I know, I know, I know. Well, yeah, we'll have to order some. So... We have a dilemma. Decisions, <laughs> decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it on? Like it's. I can get it on, it's going to take some effort. Because hmm. hmm. it's... Yeah, I don't understand. It says on the on the yeah, it's really when I weird. bought it, it's got a picture of it on it and everything. Yeah, it's on the box too. It has that. It has the uh, lock on it as well. So I'm a little confused as to why. Oh, wow. is it's even a different size. And they gave you tools in yours. They didn't give me tools in mine. This yeah, is not even the weird. right size. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, that's Maybe the wrong ones. Can these go on hers? Um, ones. These ones can go on our Moxie skates. We need right. to figure that out because I'm not sure. Um, I don't think we have the. Well, unless we could figure out how to get these off, but I'm not sure. I've always taken them to a skate shop to um, get the. Oh, we can totally do it. It'll be easy. Yeah. We don't have a metal. They don't sell them in parts like skateboards. Really they don't sell it in parts like skateboards. We need a hammer. Depends. Depends Getting this back on, Maddie. So this one, oh, yeah. really then throw in one of those boo boo bearings. Oh, that's what you're doing. Right. right. Well, I'm gonna put that sucks. Oh, no. yeah. Fix but the bearings. It's fine. I don't think it's gonna this. I think it'll be alright. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. I love the how like, are. comfy these are. They're like actual shoes compared to like these that suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Alright, yeah, these have been returned to their proper roller skate community. Station. Bomb Bomb factory. Nobody knows where this board came from. But I just put better bearings in. Those are ten and a half men. Trust me, I know. I know.